so we're at Talakapakwi, which is uh, like a shopping center type thing and uh, art installations, a lot of art stores. And this is a friend of Ista's store, Bear Cloud, as you can see. Frank, Thank you. Thank nice to see you, you again. Nice the work is fantastic. Thank you. Thank really you. amazing. You. How long does one of these take you to do? I spend maybe a year on a painting. A uh, yeah, I about a year. And then uh, each well, painting takes about a year to paint. Yeah, these are Ziklays, reproductions, but each painting takes about a year. I do a series of ceremonies, and um, whatever I'm gifted uh, through ceremony or through visions, that's what I paint. And so it usually takes about a year to put together a story and make it How happen. Gorgeous. How long have you been painting for? I mean, well, since I was five years old. And so I don't really know how old I am. So each one tells a story. If you look close, like in this one, there's a, I see that the warrior is lost in a mist. And um, um, he's asking for the elements to come and help him. So the spirit of a tree is reaching out to help him on his journey. And he's um, um, creating a bridge, uh, spirit. He's creating a bridge for him to cross. It's the spirit of a bear. See so his, his ears, his eye, his nose, oh, his shoulder. Oh, wow. See so an eagle spirit right here, and the snow begins his feathers. Beautiful. And there's a face looking up right here. I see another face over here. Yeah, they're the guardians of the water. See so one here and one here. I like to tell this one. Uh, Thunder Mountain is, um, uh, it's a, there's like, um, uh, there's stories about how the Thunderbird was born out of the, uh, fire to came to help the people and so uh, and see here's the yeah, it's a lightning spirit so and then down here at the bottom there's an eagle spirit which is a guardian mm, of the sunrise and a bear is a guardian of the sunset mm. and that's the place in between it's like the doorway of the painting like that mm. so, amazing see, the ancient ones hold on to the knowledge from the beginning of time see the faces mm -hmm. Then I saw this is like the Earth Mother. See her? Yes. And the waterfall is her belt and the trees are here. There's actually 13 ravens in here. And the ravens represent? Um, it has to do with the 13 moon cycle because there's 13 moons in a year. Okay. And it's the magic of each moon. So tell me about these uh, statue They're guys. They're made by uh, Gdansky, a friend of mine um, from um, um, up in the uh, Minnesota area, northern Minnesota. Are they carved from wood? Yeah, they're carved from wood, and uh, yeah, this is a black panther, and so very beautiful. It's got it's a mystic animal from but from down below, from you know the regions of the Mayan and South, yeah. South America and all that. So they yeah, are they, phenomenal. Yeah, they have a similar spirit as what's in my paintings, and that's why I like them. Yeah, I yeah. see that. Yeah, hummingbird is really awesome. Yeah, too. the hummingbird is amazing. <laughs> Now that's art. <laughs> this is art, man. This is gorgeous. I made some significant discoveries about the pyramids of Egypt. Really? And, uh, and I published it in this book called Seven Fires. That's why I wrote it. And so the discoveries are genuine and something that people have been looking for for thousands of years, really. You know, Give me so an example of... Uh, uh, discovery? Yeah. The, I discovered the Great Pyramid was based on a uh, star symbol, Okay. actually, and it was, um, if you look real closely, I had, had a vision to place a seven-pointed star in the corners of the pyramid, like this way, and when you do, do you see how it follows the lines of the star so perfectly, mm. like that, and the king's finger is based on this same line, see, on the angle of a seven-pointed star. So as you walk up inside of it, you're walking the energy of a seven-pointed star from the earth to the sky. Mm. You see, understand it's complete nature. What do you think is the connection between you and your culture and Egypt? In Egypt uh, they're indigenous people, the same as we are. And, and when I realized that, that's how I under came to understand what they were all about. And that's when it started unfolding and I was able to see what, what it was that was originally intended. This is an, uh, also in the book. It's a vision uh, that came to me in, in uh, 1997, 1998. Which one? 1999. Okay. Um, all of these is a is a, a part of one vision 
that came to me uh, and, and has spent 14 years now. And it happened when I walked in a crop circle over in England. And instead of seeing a series of squares on the ground, I saw a pyramid structure existing somewhere else in our universe. And that's when this whole story started unfolding about pyramids. And I did all these paintings. This was painted in 2005. It's representing a, a side view of what this would look like. So in this one, called The Alignment, th these three grandmothers, the moons, line up in a perfect upside down triangle. When that alignment happens, it's said that these three grandmothers pour their energy down into the chameleon pyramids, giving it what necessary for that moment in time in the universe. And from there it goes out her legs to all pyramids in the universe, that all pyramids were connected to it and there was the mother of all pyramids. Mm -hmm. It's uh, been a very magical vision, as far as I'm concerned, my most important one, so. And why three moons? It's that's where this is from. It has that's three moons. It it's not from here. But it's from a vision that you got. From a vision had three had. moons. But another place, moons. <coughs> in the another place in the universe. Another place in the universe. So something interesting is yeah, that yeah, uh, yeah. I have an, an ev um, I have a company, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's an organization, and mm -hmm. it's about um, bringing through mm -hmm. central nature, the uh, uh -huh. reclaiming the central nature of uh, mm -hmm. of man. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my logo, it's uh, two women mm -hmm. in full mm -hmm. celebration with three moons. Oh, I have wow, three okay. moons okay. in my okay. logo, That's so cool. it's, it. it's actually <laughs> interesting. So, and there I'm connected go. to bear energy. <laughs> so, what is what does the bear represent in your in your well, perspective has, in your it culture? There's many, many different meanings to it, and to even attach one meaning is to limit its nature. Okay. You know, but uh, you know, one way of understanding it. Uh, is the guardian of the, what's called the Western Doorway, you know, which is this night, the symbol of the night, the setting sun, and it's a symbol of inward nature, looking inward, the pathway to one's inner circle to understand the nature of how one walks on, on the earth. On the earth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So how can we find you if somebody is watching and really interested in your art, where can they find you? you know, Online? Uh, I have a, I have a, a website, it's Bear Cloud gallery.com uh, or they can come here to the showroom in Tlacopaki at C107 and um, have a look firsthand. Awesome. Thank you very much, Bear Cloud. Really Thank appreciate you, uh, you sharing. It's an honor for me too. Thank you. Thank you.